Hi friends, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're an American and you celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm looking forward to an incredibly impactful and powerful December with all of you. With that being said, I would like to be the first to wish you all a very Merry Christmas or a Happy Hanukkah, Happy Winter Solstice or whatever holidays you celebrate in this upcoming month. Now this video isn't like our regular videos. This is simply a bonus video that again, I'm obviously releasing on the weekend. For those new to this channel, this might be the first video you're stumbling upon. This is probably not the best video to start with. Our normal, the essence of our stories, our normal stories happen on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they're more French topics and storytelling. With that being said, after our last Q&A, I got a lot of questions regarding the exercises that I do, and I got a lot of questions from you guys that live in other countries regarding our Thanksgiving meals and the foods that we prepare on Thanksgiving, which are a lot like the foods we also prepare on Christmas. So first of all, I'm super excited that a lot of you are interested in getting yourself healthy. Um, again, the two forms of exercise that I do are Ashtanga Yoga and Bar. So Ashtanga Yoga, I am actually the only female in the state of Georgia who is authorized by KPJAY in Mysore, India to teach Ashtanga Yoga. With that being said, this is a very intense form of asana or posture practice. So if this is something that you're interested in, please, please, please find a teacher in your area that teaches Mysore. Second of all, the bar that I do, I really had a hard time finding a good bar teacher that I really liked. My best friend up in Canada is the one that suggested that I do bar on top of my practice to really help tone up my muscles and keep my body secure. And I found a wonderful teacher based out of Los Angeles, California. Her name is Marnie Alton. I actually found her on YouTube and she has a website in body.com where she releases at classes a couple of times a week that you can do off of her website. I will put a link to her website in the description box below. So to start this video, I'm gonna go through on time-lapse the two different exercises that I do to help you or answer any of your questions. The second part of this video is going to be my favorite foods that we have on Thanksgiving. Now we're gonna start off with the dish that my boyfriend and I brought to my parents' house and that is a potato dish. Now my boyfriend is an incredible cook. He likes to cook very eclectic dishes. Um, he's great with South Indian food, French food. He's just a really good cook. He's really into Ayurveda cooking as well. And I have tried to push him to open up a YouTube channel, a cooking channel, because he is such an incredible cook. He has not done that yet. So if that's something you guys wanna see, if you wanna see more cooking um, from him, these, these obscure dishes, then just let me know. Now this video is not very well produced because it was super last minute, but if you guys want us to open up a special playlist that is just full of recipes from around the world showing you how to make them, then we can do that. We can create it as like a bonus video on Saturdays, do it like once or twice a month. And then of course that would not interfere with our regular Monday, Wednesday and Friday programming. Again, if we were to do the special Saturday playlist of cooking, it would be better produce in this video. We would actually set up lights and do more instructional stuff with, with, you'll see with the dish that we brought to my parents' house, my boyfriend didn't actually have measurements because he just wings it, but I do show you all the ingredients he used. So if you want to play with that yourself and figure out how to make the dish, you can. All the other recipes, I have all the exact steps and ingredients, which I'm going to put in the video because I don't have enough space in, in the description box below to put everything. So if you want to pause the video and write down everything as it comes up on the screen, that's awesome. Or if you're watching from your phone, you can just take a screenshot so that you have all the ingredients. My absolute favorite dish of all time is pineapple casserole. And a lot of people never heard of pineapple casserole. Maybe it's a Southern thing, I don't know, but it is my favorite. In fact, we make pineapple casserole for like just regular old potluck sometimes. And even though it's a casserole you eat with a meal, 
it's actually really a great breakfast dish too. So if you ever have company over and you need to make a cool breakfast dish, pineapple casserole is awesome. And I'll probably put the directions and the ingredients to that in the description box for you because that again is my absolute favorite. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. And once again, I hope you had a very, very happy Thanksgiving and I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys again on Monday with our Mystery Monday. So my boyfriend is making a potato dish for Thanksgiving. I'm not a cook at all. He's the cook. Um, he doesn't have a specific recipe for this dish. He kind of just throws the ingredients together. But right now he's making the sauce for the potatoes and in it he has Parmesan cheese. And when I went to the grocery store to get the cheese, he was really, really, really firm on me not getting the boxed Parmesan cheese. I need the nice Parmesan cheese. And then we've got some garlic in it, some um, uh, butter, half and half. And then he's also got, um, what is this? What's that? Thyme. That's thyme. <laughs> See, I'm not a cook. And then this is white pepper. Another funny story, I had no idea that white pepper existed until I had to go to the grocery store day today to get it warm. So all this is now simmering together in this, which is gonna be the sauce for the potatoes. Got a lot of potatoes to do there. So this apparently is called a mandolin. 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 <laughs> oh wow, that's fancy. See, my boyfriend is a lover of food, connoisseur of cooking, and so he has this it turns into that. fancy equipment. We actually have a whole storage room behind our kitchen, and it's filled with just cooking shit. <laughs> that's all it's filled with, really, and some of my shoes. So what did you put around the, the pot? Is that butter? Butter. My 
my dog's interested. My boyfriend actually ordered some really expensive rice from Japan. It's from Japan? Uh-huh. And um, our dog loves the rice, and so we make rice balls for his treat. His treats. What do you think, Robbie? What do you think, buddy? What's going on? Are you gonna see Maggie tomorrow? Are you gonna have some turkey? Put the next layer on. This is so the, like a layered cake. This is the cheese sauce that I made. You know, I put Parmesan into this. Into the the sauce we were making earlier with the yeah. half and half. Uh -huh. And the Parmesan cheese went in. So it's like a cheese sauce now with cream and garlic and thyme. thyme and white pepper. And white pepper. And a bay leaf, you said? You put a bay leaf in there? Uh huh. And blood of. And then I'm going to take the, uh, the nutmeg and just put like a little bit of nutmeg. So y'all see that nutmeg? So apparently um, my boyfriend was telling me that there's a southern recipe for this as well. That's not as fancy, that this is definitely more of a French recipe with the bay leaf and the nutmeg and the thyme. And But us southerners, we like our butter, don't we? Yeah. So many layers of potatoes mixed with the sauce and the final top of the whole potato casserole thing is going to be another solid layer, layer excuse me, of Parmesan cheese. So all right, so that's the finished piece and then it's going to go into the oven at 300 that's um fahrenheit for those of you who are in europe i don't know what that is in celsius but 300 fahrenheit and he doesn't know for how long it will be in the oven it'll be in the oven for like two to three hours so i guess you'll just have to check to see if it's brown on top yeah and then it's done all the way through yeah and that's done all the way through Good morning, so it's Thanksgiving morning. I just worked out, hence why I am a mess right now, but since we're doing an extra bonus video on Thanksgiving, I, yeah, I have no makeup on, nothing. Um, on Thanksgiving morning, when I was a little girl, and Christmas morning, we got to have cinnamon rolls for breakfast. So that is a tradition that I have kept up as an adult. So I'm about to put some cinnamon rolls, Pillsbury, in the oven, and I'm gonna take a shower. Hopefully by the time I'm out of the shower, they'll be done. The bow tie. He's so handsome. Look at his bow tie. He's so fancy for Thanksgiving. Are you gonna go see Maggie? Are you gonna get some turkey? He's so handsome with his bow tie.
Thunder.